Hello and welcome to the January 28th, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we are featuring Vichet Intertechnology Incorporated. This is ticker symbol VSH. This is a $1.5 billion dollar technology company that manufactures and supplies semiconductors and passive electronic components in the United States, Europe, and Asia. Um, you can see back uh, off of the March lows, the stock was trading actually down close to $2. Um, in less than two months, it had run all the way up to $6.50, and by just uh, you know a week or so ago, had run up to almost $9.50, so it was up better than fourfold from the bottom back in early March. Um, recently, however, the stock has run into some difficulties. Off of its latest uptrend, you can see that the most recent high actually came at a time when the MACD was moving lower. So we have what's referred to as a negative divergence in play. Many times when you're putting in higher highs in terms of price, but lower highs in terms of the MACD, that tells you that uh, the momentum is beginning to wane in the stock, and many times you will get a pullback after that. Now also right at the top you'll see this was a reversing candle. I can't quite tell if it's a bearish engulfing or a dark cloud cover, but either way it is a reversing candle. When you get a reversing candle at the top with a negative divergence, many times that will send you back to the 50-day moving average to reset what we like to refer to as resetting the uh, MACD or the moving average convergence divergence back down near the center line. And that seems to be what just happened and what's in the process of happening now. Um, VSH just moved down, put in a doji at the 50-day moving average. Also, it came back down and tested this breakout area. You can see all the way going back into the second week of October, again in early December, and then again in mid-December, multiple highs right at about the $8 level. And you can see this candle here that broke through, shows that the price action broke through that resistance area. And when it did this, if you take a look down here, you'll see it was on accompanying confirming type volume, which is what we look for. Now, anytime you get a breakout, usually you will come back and you will get a retest at the breakout level, which in this case is down around the $8 area. Notice today's low, right at $8. So in our minds, this one is now pulled back. It's probably dropped about uh, maybe uh, 15, 16, 17 percent off of the recent high, came back down, it's now tested the 50-day moving average, put in that reversing candle, looks like it's poised to move higher. Now we did check, earnings do, do not come out on uh, Vichet until February 9th, so we've got a couple of weeks there. We would expect to see movement to the upside from the current level. Now we want to make sure we keep our stops in place, so we would be watching down at about 775 to eight dollars if you see a close down below this area and the volume picks up that's your sign to exit take a small loss and move to the sidelines otherwise we would look for VSH to make a move here off of this low and perhaps uh, eventually make a run back up here at about 940 or 950 to test these recent highs volume trends have been excellent on this on the moves to the upside so no concern there whatsoever and recently now that we've gotten this pullback Take a look at where stochastic sit down at the nine level. So we're back into single digits. A couple of weeks ago, uh, stochastics were up near 100. RSI was near 70. Now we've got them down at 44 and at nine. So a much much better risk reward entry here on VSH, and that's what we try. That's what we strive to do: is uh, cut out the additional risk involved in trading by chasing stocks and wait and let them come back to us. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter. Have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.